Keep It Simple Phone Tech here with another installment in the basic series. This time we are going to talk about the settings icon. Now the settings icon leads you to the application that has the majority of your phone settings. So settings like how to connect to your home Wi-Fi connection, um, connecting to Bluetooth, changing your lock screen if you have some sort of password or pattern lock or fingerprint lock if you have that type of phone uh, you're gonna do things like that from the settings all of those things that I just mentioned they're even gonna be future videos in either the basic series or the how-to series that's forthcoming but in the meantime let's take a look at the settings icon okay so where do you find the settings icon well on Android and on Windows there's actually two different ways that you can get there in general let's start first with our Android phone and show you it's the most common way to get there and that's through your applications icon now if you don't already have the settings icon on your home screen which some of you may have that already but typically it does not your phone doesn't come out of the box brand new that way We'll press on the apps icon and then you'll see right there and thankfully in addition to the icon it actually says settings underneath there that's how you get to the settings icon that's one way that you can do it let me show you the other way briefly and then we'll just take a quick look at some of the settings in there second way that you can do it on android is if you take your finger and if you pull down the notification bar from top to bottom and there is a video for the notification bar to give you a little bit uh, more of an idea of what that is and how that works if you wanted to watch that in the basic series and you'll see in the top right corner typically it's in the top right corner for Android uh, even for I think some Windows phones as well you'll see that little settings icon right there it doesn't say settings but again that's kind of a universal symbol for the settings icon on both Android and Windows it looks like a little gear or a little cog all right so now that we saw the two different ways you can access the settings icon let's just go ahead and actually press on it now depending on your Android phone as well as the version of Android that you have this is Android 6.0 that we're taking a look at and for the layout on Samsung they're keeping it really straightforward scroll up and down you'll see all of your options and again you can do things here like turn on your Wi-Fi or Bluetooth and connect um, also I mentioned lock screen so you'll find the lock screen that are lock screen and security and again the majority of your settings options different things that you can do with your phone you're going to find in this section now your layout may vary instead of having a list going up and down you may have like certain options going across the top of the screen from left to right uh, something like networks or connections um, accounts I'm just trying to think of some of the tabs that you might see going from left to right in your settings and for each of those tabs you'll have a list of options so if one says accounts you'll see an option for accounts or several options for accounts if one says general you'll see several options for general etc this just happens to be the list view so again that's kind of the uh, the variance with Android Windows tends to be pretty straightforward and then Apple they just give you one type of layout for settings again it's kind of the beauty of Apple in that sense I mean, and you can say in the sense too that it's the beauty of Android is that you have the variety uh, but nevertheless this is an idea of what your settings looks like as well as how to get there uh, let's just go ahead and briefly show you what it looks like on Windows and then we'll take a look at what it looks like on iPhone alright here's our Windows phone and again unless you have the little settings icon on your home screen then you will find it in the app section so if we scroll down to the bottom we press on all apps or we can swipe from right to left and that'll give us the all app section and then I'm already here because I had been here just recently on this phone but this is in alphabetical order 
and you'll scroll down and again you'll see that universal symbol for settings as well as the word settings right there next to it to make it a little bit easier for you when you press on that you'll see groups in this case now this is Windows 10 Windows 8 if there are still phones out there at Windows 7 it might vary a little bit but you'll see groups of options and when you press on those options you'll see a list within each group again a secondary way to get there on Windows through the notification bar from top to bottom pull all the way from top to bottom and then you'll see the all settings as they refer to it and again that little universal symbol if you can see that there that little cog or wheel and forgive that glare you may not be able to see that too well because it's not focusing but it's a little cog or wheel symbol and that's uh, again pretty much universal between uh, Android and Windows that symbol when we press on the all settings takes us to the same place so two different ways to get to your settings now that we've reviewed Android and Windows, let's just go ahead and show you the iPhone and what that looks like, how to get to settings. All right, we have our iPhone in front of us now. And Apple, they only give you one way to get to your settings. It's going to be on one of your home screens. In this case, it just happens to be on my main home screen. So you see two home screens that I have in this case. But settings icon looks a little different. It's still kind of gear ish looking if you could see that again it's made a little bit easier to where it actually says settings underneath and when we press on it, it takes you to the list of options and again for iPhone their list of options on any iPhone or even iPads for that matter it's going to look like this that's the beauty of Apple they, they keep it straightforward always the same list almost always in the same order as well um, now you'll notice we're not going to go through each individual setting and we won't. We won't in the basic series. We won't in the how-to series. We're going to really just cover those settings that normally for the types of calls that I receive. Um, we're just going to cover those settings. So types of calls I will receive will be like how to connect to Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or troubleshooting those things if you cannot connect. Um, how to change your lock screen things like that um, how to add or remove your email those are the sorts of things the more common things that we're going to be covering within the settings so we're not going to go through every last settings setting in your uh, phone you know forgive me for that but I'll leave you to once you get a good handle on the basics on your phone to go through and experiment with some of those settings that we don't cover but with that again this the whole idea is just to uh, familiarize with where the settings icon is, how to get there, what sort of settings that you will see inside. And with that, again, that is the settings icon, leads you to the application that will take you to the majority of the phone's settings. So with that, thank you very much for watching. I hope this video was helpful to you. This is Keep It Simple Phone Tech.